We were really just um, working on the relationship between Steve and myself, as I said, trying to find some kind of common ground to know that there was a project worth pursuing. And that was the initial stages. And once we developed uh, an, an area in which um, we were excited by uh, the, the writing process, we would involve other artists to, to uh, help us orchestrate the material. Well, I often use weather as a, as a metaphor, a useful metaphor for a variety of different emotional states. And, uh, you know, I find, I find winters to be a very productive time and a uh, time for, for uh, gestation and, and creation of new ideas and, and, and formation of new projects. But it also, um, psychologically, winters can be very hard and uh, very isolating. So it depends on how you enter into um, these long winters that we experience in New England and America. Uh, if you're psychologically prepared for them, they're very productive and very fruitful times. If you're in not such a, um, a healthy state of mind, they can be uh, uh, quite difficult to endure. So in some way, for me, the, 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 that, uh, the titles and other ones are su suggested all of that. Well, you know, Blemish and, and, and Nine Horses kind of exist side by side in terms of uh, thematic content. Whereas Blemish uh, describes the breakdown of a personal relationship, um, Nine Horses tends to generally take a, a broader look at the same issue. So it's a more socially aware album. Um, so each, I'd say more or less each piece deals with conflict on some level. Uh, or another, uh, but it also uh, promotes compassion and tolerance. These are the abiding themes of the album as I see them. Um, now we won't be touring in support of this album, um, but possibly after the, a second album, should it materialise, um, there might be it might be worthwhile taking the material on the road and seeing how it works in that context. Yeah.